Sorry, but here's another question about the variant. Uh, and this one's the one that was detected in South Africa, because it appears to have additional mutations, which scientists say include more extensive alterations to a key part of the virus, known as the spike protein, which the virus uses to infect human cells, and may make the virus less susceptible to the immune response triggered by the vaccines. You know, drug makers are now working to find out the efficacy of the vaccines against the new variants, but I mean, is there a suspicion out there? Do you have a suspicion that COVID-19 could end up being like the seasonal flu? You need to get an annual immunization? Well, it's an RNA virus and they they mutate and they mutate fairly fast, but this one does not mutate as fast as say influenza. There's a proofreading enzyme in its replication status that allows it to be more uh, or less error prone as it goes through. So will we have to update the vaccine occasionally? Possibly. Yearly? I don't think so. It, you know, it may be every two or three years. But at the moment when we look at it, especially the, the variant that we're seeing in the UK, the 501 variant, um, it's the equivalent of like the spike protein has a site called the receptor binding domain, which is like my hand. And at the moment, just the thumb has changed. So the protection that I've had against my other fingers is still there and will still be there with the old vaccine. It's only the thumb has changed. When more changes happen, so more of my hand looks different, then we need to update. So for the moment, the vaccine looks great. It looks like it's going to protect us, certainly against the UK variant. They will be testing the South African variant to make sure. But again, as long as the changes aren't too much, there should be enough similarity between them in the important sites to lead to neutralization and lowering the severity of disease.